What is going on folks, Nimblethaw here, and welcome back guys to this daily quest of finding the very best mobile games. And today we are having a first impressions look at Flats, which is a single player and multiplayer cross-platform first person shooter, and it's super minimalistic. As you guys can see, no, this is not a graphical error, this is literally how the game looks like. And uh, the game's pretty cool though, we have all the weapons, they are for free, and there is controller support, and as I mentioned, there's uh, cross-platform, which means you can play on Android, you can play on iOS, you can play on Windows even yes Windows not the Windows phone actual a win actually a Windows PC which does mean that when you're playing multiplayer you should probably hope not to get get matched against someone who's playing on PC because obviously the game will be way way easier to control on PC and talking about controls I mean with a with a first person shooter one of the most important things if not if not the most important thing is of course oh we did a headshot <laughs> that is so awesome is of course the controls and the controls in this game did take a bit of getting used to, but they're actually quite all right. You have these four different squares here on the right side of the screen, and then you have a joystick. You can't see the joystick, but you can, you can, yeah, well, you can actually see the joystick kind of on the left side, which you use to move around, and then you can kind of use a right side just joystick to look around, right? So you have, so it's a typical dual joystick setup. But then you have these buttons here, you have one which is used to reload like we're doing right now. You can then hold that one down to switch between weapons. We have a shotgun and a machine gun with us here today. You have the actual firing button, the shooting button, and then you have a run slash jump button, which if you hold it down, you run, and if you tap, you jump. And then you have a button to aim down the side, like so. And that is it, that is it. It is very minimalistic, as I said, and you have a lot of options in these settings to, for example, uh, right now we have it so that we can just hold down this trigger button, the shooting firing button here, as you guys can see right now, I'm just holding it down. But you can change that in the settings if you wish to, so that you have to kind of tap it to shoot instead. You can't simply hold it down, hold it down at all times. And we also have a bit of auto aiming here. Uh, let me show if I can show you guys properly. It's not that clear probably from the video, but if you guys could see how I'm uh, having, how I'm using my fingers on the screen right now, you would see that I'm actually, I don't have to, I get a little bit of help. Let's let's put it like that. I get a little bit of help with looking at these enemies, but you can turn that off in the settings as well. And if you get better at the game, that is probably something you'll want to do. Okay, there's a lot of guns over there. Let's see if we can pick one of them up. What do we got here? We got another shotgun. I'm actually not too interested in that because we got one already. Don't we have a different type of weapon? Let's, how about this one? Can we, can we pick that one up? Come on! No! They're shooting at us! Guys! <laughs> no! Where are they? Okay, there they are. Let's, let's take them out one, to, uh, one at a time. Oh, that's a sniper! We definitely want to try out the sniper. We got that guy. Okay, we, I think we have to take out these other guys before we switch to the sniper. We got that guy. Let's see. Two guys left. We have a lot of HP in this single player mode, it seems. No, no, no! No, we're dying though, just as I said that we had a lot of HP. Oh man, okay. Anyway, this was the single player mode. They, it's a lot of fun to play in the single player mode, but obviously, uh, there's an ad by the way, that's how the game monetizes. But obviously, if you want to get into, really into the game, you are gonna want to play online. And there's a multiplayer, as I briefly mentioned in the beginning of this video. So we have the multiplayer over here where we can open a match, we can in, do an invitation match, we can join a local network match against other players, and uh, then we have server regions, we can switch between EU and Asia and, uh, and the US. And uh, actually, I want to show you guys real quick because it's kind of cool. We can go in here and we can start a match. But because there, I mean, the game is kind of popular, but it's not that popular. Meaning we might not. Okay, bad example. We <laughs> we found a team super quickly, but you you aren't guaranteed to always find a team immediately. So you can tap this small button down there, there, which means that you can stay in this room while while you actually go play the single player levels. Meanwhile, which is really really awesome. I, I really like that so you don't have to sit there and just wait You can go in and do a few practice runs and it looks like we're gonna play the flat city up there I'm gonna vote for that one as well. Wait. Oh, it's gonna be Nightland five votes for Nightland That is cool. Let's see if we can get into this online match here and uh, how uh, let's see how we're gonna do against these other Players I do imagine that some of them are probably pretty experienced which means it's gonna be kind of difficult Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, spe a, spe a special mode though. So there's a zombie that we have to shoot, I guess. So I guess it's everyone versus a zombie. I've played a couple of zombie modes in other first person shooters. I'm guessing that if the zombie then defeats us, the zombie over there, we will turn into a zombie as well, most likely. And then it's basically uh, either the uh, us, the players, or the zombie that, or the zombies that are going to win, depending on how many zombies there are. Where is the zombie mother though? She was over here just before. I want to find her, and I want to shoot her. Uh, let's see... 
is she up there? Hmm. I guess we're just gonna run around this map for a little while and see if we can find her. And meanwhile, what do you guys think about this game? Let me know down in the comment section below if you have already played the game. It is certainly very, very, very strange, I would say. And I actually read that the developers, they it has been quite fr frequently updated, but the developers has seems to have moved on to a new project, at least for now. So I don't expect any major updates to the game in the next couple of months, something like that. I don't know too much about the whole thing. You can go read up on it if you really want to get into the game. But just so you guys know, take it for what it is. Enjoy the game while it lasts. The, uh, the, the online matches can certainly be very, very interesting. And, uh, I mean, it's it's probably a cool game to play with friends on a LAN network, so like a local area network. Uh, I do imagine that being really, really cool. It's actually a pretty cool party game for when you're together with a few friends, especially because it doesn't matter if your friend is on an iOS or Android device. So that is gonna be my final verdict on the game. Super strange first-person shooter. Probably the weirdest first-person shooter we've ever covered here on the channel. What do you guys say? I think, I definitely think it is. So yeah, guys, $2 to remove the ads. Uh, I forgot to mention that, you know, the, the ads that you saw before, they do appear occasionally. I don't know, it's like every, maybe every 10 minutes, something like that, something something like that. Every 10 minutes you're gonna see an ad, but $2 is pretty fair business model. I would say because everything else in the game is already unlocked. You don't have chests, you don't have any horrible in-app purchase systems like that. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for sticking around till the very end of this video. I really appreciate having you guys here. And while we look for the zombie here, be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. And uh, if you're not, Awesome to have you back, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I will see you guys around.